So it looks like a quite attractive but pretty standard piece of 1930s furniture. But open the lid, and what have you got? You've got uh, what seems to be the oldest working television in a British home. And uh, the owner is here, Geoffrey Berinsky. Geoffrey, uh, very attractive. What is it and where did you get it? Well, it's a television from the 1930s, and the chances are that it would have been used to watch the very first uh, broadcast from Alexandra Palace, BBC Television, November 1936. In those days, there wasn't much television. There was just the one channel. It was only on for two hours a day, and the sets were expensive. You had to be fairly wealthy to afford one of these. It cost 60 guineas then, and you could have bought a small car for that. So just show us how it works. Well, it's perfectly ordinary controls. You've got a volume control. And very nice sound on this old set. Oh, booming out of those speakers, yes. Yeah. And um, there's brightness control. Not, not a lot of brightness on this old tube. Right. Um, if you've got a slightly older set, you may remember vertical hold. Oh, yes, I remember bashing the TV to stop yes. it doing that. Well, take us through the technology here, then. The technology is very crude by today's standards, but incredibly sophisticated then. Um, the cathode ray tube is huge. Um, and and I, noticed, I noticed we've got the picture there, and, yep. but mm -hmm. actually reflected. It's only a 12-inch screen, but the tube itself goes all the way down to the bottom of the cabinet. And that is why it's viewed through a mirror, because otherwise you'd have a stupid cabinet that nobody could get in their lounge. I can't um, help noticing that you appear to have modern-day television, BBC One, running on that. How's that Well, coming? that's, that's uh, a couple of little boxes of tricks. The first one is any standard free view box that you could pick up anywhere for 20 quid. And then uh, you've got this box of tricks. What's and then that? This little box of tricks here is, is called the Aurora Standards Converter, and it converts modern 625-line TV to the old 405-line TV that was used from 1936 all the way up to the start of BBC Two in 1964. It does give us a view of how much television has changed, but it's quite remarkable, really, that this is still working, isn't it? Yes, they, it requires a fair bit of tender love and care. Um, that in the days when these were new, you would have... I won't say you'd have had a TV repairman living at your house, but he would have been an all-too-frequent visitor. And they were also quite dangerous things. They were known as widow makers in the trade. <laughs> Although it's only 5,000 volts and a modern set has 25,000, it was a lot more dangerous because it had real power behind it. You touched it once and that was the last thing you did. <laughs> <laughs> so, the oldest working television in Britain, and as we can see... It's working pretty well. I am told, though, uh, that after two hours or so, you really do need to turn it off.